<laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Construction CPA's Coffee Cafe. I am the Construction CPA, Lisa Raish. This week's topic is tips for reading your profit and loss statement. So as accountants, we have a, um, we typically will provide clients on a monthly basis once we do, do their accounting work. Uh, we provide them their financial statements, which would be their balance sheet, their profit and loss for them to review and look at. Um, we typically send them a little video along with it, kind of giving them highlights, high points of their financial statements. But one of the challenges that um, we come across and we live and breathe in the financial statements, but our clients don't. So the hope is just to give you some tips here as to how to read and review your financial statements so that you can, in fact, um, you know, have a conversation with your accountant or your tax professional about what's going on in your business. And again, you will have the ability to ask any questions um, because you at least have a general understanding of financial statements. So the first is you want to kind of familiarize yourself with it. So the main sections of your profit and loss, right? Top lines are going to be your revenue, right? That's going to be your sales, your dollars in, um, however you, you know, you categorize it. Um, if you're doing it, and we're not going to talk, we are not going to talk about cash or accrual today. That's simply your revenues, right? What you've sold, the work that you've done are going to be on the top line. Uh, for financial statement purposes, um, especially when you're doing any kind of business planning, I always recommend that you have the revenues broken out into the different line items, the different services you may provide. Uh, so from a financial standpoint, financial statement standpoint, you really want to break those out. When you talk about tax, the IRS doesn't care about all your different line items. They just care about that one, one big number. But those top lines are going to be your revenue. Your next lines down are going to be your, your cost of goods sold or your cost of sales. And in construction, those are actually really important. That's going to be your labor, your materials, um, all of your costs associated with your jobs, performing your jobs, getting permits, um, getting any kind of engineering or architectural drawings, right? Those are all going to be in those costs of goods sold or cost of sales numbers. So then it's your revenue, less your cost of goods sold gets you to your gross profit. Those three numbers in construction are really key to any construction business. Because your gross profit is going to be the overall profit over and above all of the costs that it took you to actually service or you know, create that building or service or, or, or do that construction project. Let's say that. So that's your next really important thing. Those are really, really driving numbers in a construction business that you want to make sure that you understand. Um, you want to know where your costs are going and you want to you want it to be gross profit uh, positive because that gross profit again is what you're going to need to for your overall operations. The next numbers down are going to be operating expenses. Those are going to be the expenses in your business that don't go away every month, right? That's going to be um, rent. Um, we we are, this business is very much technologically driven. Um, so for us, and in, in most businesses now, there's going to be some level of technology. There's going to be softwares that you're using in your office, right? Um, again, any any costs associated with maintaining that office? Um, are you using um, an outside accountant, right? Those operational expenses are going to sit there. And then your final, so it's going to be revenue, less cost of goods sold equals gross profit less your operating expenses gets you to your net profit. And again, you want to be net profit positive because if you are net profit positive, again, there's some profitability there to move you into the next projects. Um, and again, all businesses, you want to be profitable. So those are kind of high level what you're looking at when we're talking about financial statements. So again, each, each have different meanings um, in construction your top, right? Everything up to your gross profit are going to be really big drivers. And what you're going to lean very heavy, heavily on when you are reviewing your financials to ensure that you are profitable, right? So on a very, very high level, if you are not gross profit, like if you're not profitable, if you don't have a gross profit, 
then there isn't any additional expenses there or cash flow there for you to maintain your overall operations. So when we're working with our clients and we're pushing so heavily to ensure that they are like the jobs are profitable, there's a reason for that. It's not just we want the client to be profitable, but they need the jobs to be profitable in order to support the actual operations of the business. So those are really important things to think about. Um, the other thing is, is when you are looking at your financial statements, you want to make sure you have things appro like categorized appropriately. So when it comes to revenues, you want to have as many of your service line items there so you can see where you're generating your revenues from. That's most important. Same thing with your expenses, your cost of goods sold. You want to make sure that all of the major expenses associated with those jobs are recognized there. So on a high level, what are all of the high level expense categories there and you want to ensure that they're all represented there because that's the when you're looking at your categorizations and you're going to start to look at it month over month quarter over quarter when things are out of whack that's when you'll notice it when it comes to operational expenses i find sometimes that there are too many categories so in some instances you may want to aggregate and put a fewer categories in your operational expenses, but have more detail when you're looking at your revenues and your cost of goods sold. So you wanna make sure you have appropriate amounts of detail, but you also wanna make sure you're categorizing things appropriately and in the correct place. So as we've mentioned, gross profit is incredibly important in construction. Each industry or each types of construction have their uh, standards in the industry. So you're going to have some portions of the construction industry where margins are 30 to 40 percent, depending on what it is that you're doing. Um, there are going to be other types of construction where 20 percent is standard. Knowing your gross profit and your gross profit percentage is going to be key. Because when you are not in line with your industry, then those are the kinds of things that you want to be looking at to understand not only individually job to job what's going on and, and what isn't working, but in the aggregate, what is happening overall with all of your jobs. Um, the other thing that you want to make sure that you look at is you want to make sure you identify and you analyze your trends. So when I say looking at your expenses month over month, that's one of the things that we're doing. We're taking a client's profit and loss statement and we're reviewing the overall line items, the cost of goods sold, all our operational expenses. And we're looking for large fluctuations month over month, quarter over quarter. Is there something happening in the business that we weren't aware of? Is there a new expense that we are now seeing, which is going to be standard moving forward and it's going to change assumptions um, in subsequent periods. Are your revenues in line with what you expected them to be? Are your margins out of line from what the expectation is? And so on. So again, you want to be able to look at your profit and loss statement period over period, month over month. We look quarter over quarter and then overall annually, you know, year to date during, a, uh, a, you know, year to date over the prior year to date. We're doing comparisons on a regular basis for our clients. And you should be doing that too, to see if, again, are you in line with what you've historically done? Are you in line with you what you expected to be doing? And therefore, is it going to change any assumptions moving forward? Again, um, and that's how you're going to make decisions, right? Are your revenues growing? And with that, is it going to require you to have more in many cases, when we see growth, especially in construction, it typically means the client is going to need to invest in either more team members or other types of infrastructure to support those team members. So for instance, if it's the type of business where you're hiring a team member, you're going to need to have a truck for that person. It needs to be fully outfitted with the appropriate equipments and so on, right? There's an investment associated with that. So you're looking at overall trends in your business to say, oh, my revenues are in fact going up like I anticipated. So we need to add this or that to support this or to get to this next level as we're moving our way up. 
we need to be able to look at our financial statements, say, oh, okay, that's actually going to require us to add this, this, and this in order to kind of, we're making that, th that trek up. So in order to do that, we need to add these item, I line items. So those are the types of things that you're looking at when you are reviewing your financial statements, right? You're, you want to make sure that you understand on a high level what the key sections are, right? You're going to have your revenue, your cost of goods sold, your gross profit, your operating expenses, and then your net profit. You're going to, as a construction business, you're going to want to understand what your gross margin and your gross margin percent is. That's key. That is going to be um that's going to be telling as to how profitable overall that you are going to be. And then the last thing is you've got to make sure that you're looking at and analyzing the trends in your business. Where are you today? Where were you previously a year ago, three months ago, two years ago, and so on? And is that you have you created, is there some sort of pattern there that you're going to see moving forward? And if not, you know, what is the trend? Is our, our revenues are going up, they're going down. These expenses are going up. They're, we expect them to continue to go up and so on. So you're able to look at your profit and loss statement from an overall business perspective. We put a lot of emphasis on actual jobs in construction, but we also now need to take all of those jobs, aggregate them together and look at your business in, in, from an overall like one unified under umbrella perspective. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, drop them in the chat. We always love to respond to you. Um, we always hope that you come back and see us every Friday morning at 10 a.m. here for the Construction CPAs Coffee Cafe as we are dropping the hammer on cash flow problems so you can build things that matter. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.